Video clips of a United States Senator's persistent grilling of TikTok Singaporean boss on his nationality and links to China's Communist Party have sparked anger from online users in the island republic. With many criticizing the politicians' racism and lack of understanding of Singapore. Analysts who spoke to this week in Asia said the exchange was likely to heighten the antipathy of Singaporeans towards US policymakers. Since such anti Chinese rhetoric would rile up citizens in the multiracial city state with an ethnic Chinese majority. TikTok CEO Chu Shou Z, 41, on Wednesday appeared alongside the chief executives of tech firms Discord, Meta, Snap, and X to testify before American lawmakers over concerns about the harmful effects of social media on children. It was Chu's second appearance before U.S. lawmakers in less than a year. In March 2023, he was questioned about TikTok's ties to China and its safety precautions for children, but had gone viral on social media and was crowned the newest internet zaddy by young social media users. Chu faced similar questions at Wednesday's hearing. However, Singaporeans following Wednesday's hearing online were most incensed by the way Chu was questioned about his nationality and affiliations with the Chinese government. You say today, as you often say, that you live in Singapore. Of what nation are you a citizen? asked Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. Despite Chu stating he was Singaporean, Cotton continued to press him. Are you a citizen of any other nation? he asked and followed up with whether Chu had ever applied for Chinese citizenship and if he held a Singaporean passport. Chu responded no to both questions, adding that he had fulfilled his national service to his home country by serving in the Singaporean military for two and a half years, which is a requirement for all Singaporean men. Cotton also asked if Chu was a member of China's Communist Party, to which a visibly frustrated Chu responded, Senator, I'm Singaporean, no. The Singapore government does not allow citizens to hold dual nationalities. A Washington Post technology reporter described Cotton's line of questioning as McCarthyesque, which refers to accusations of subversion or treason made without proper regard for the facts. Similar to those made by U.S. Senator Joseph McCarthy against alleged communists in the 1950s. Cotton defended his questioning of Chu's ties with China's Communist Party hours after the hearing concluded. Singapore, unfortunately, is one of the places in the world that has the highest degree of infiltration and influence by the Chinese Communist Party, Cotton said on Fox News on Wednesday. So, Mr. Chu has a lot to answer for, for what his app is doing in America and why it's doing it. Clips of the exchange went viral on social media on Thursday, and the hashtag hashtag Singaporean trended internationally on X, formerly known as Twitter. Singaporean users called out Cotton over his perceived racism and poor understanding of their country, while others created memes poking fun at the exchange. Unsurprised that Americans associate Singapore with China or even a city within China, wrote one user paranoia at its highest. And low-key racist, snap another. Senator. Do you know where Singapore is? One netizen questioned. Pure ignorance, to the highest degree. Just because he looks Chinese does not mean he's from China, another said. One popular meme page. Yolo.sg, which has more than 78,000 followers on Instagram, posted a snippet of the exchange, along with the caption, when it's 2024, but people still think Singapore is in China. TikTok is a wholly owned subsidiary of Chinese tech firm ByteDance. Western governments have raised concerns that Chinese authorities could force ByteDance to hand over TikTok's data on its estimated 150 million American users. TikTok has gone to great lengths to allay these concerns, claiming it does not share American user data 
with the Chinese government and would refuse, if asked. It has also since promised to store data on servers operated by an outside contractor. Oracle Corp. as part of Project Texas. The view that Singapore and China hold similar political ideologies among U.S. lawmakers and citizens has long persisted and is not anything new, said Leong Chon Hung, a senior fellow for social cohesion research at the Nanyang Technological University's S. Rogeronam School of International Studies. I'm not surprised that some of them are not aware of the geopolitical differences between Singapore and China, he said. The fact that the city-state had an ethnic Chinese majority and was ruled by one political party for a long time may also contribute to the impression that China and Singapore shared the same political ideology. He added, The perception by Singaporeans of the US has been on the decline, said Bilvia Singh, a political scientist from the National University of Singapore. The US has blundered at home with political polarization, racism, government inefficiency and becoming inward-looking, and abroad in foreign policy, he said, citing examples such as the withdrawal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan. In a 2022 survey conducted by the Pew Research Center, some 67 percent of Singaporeans poll viewed China more favorably than the U.S., a stark contrast to the other 18 countries polled. Singh added that Cotton's line of questioning also offended people in the city-state. As it seemed to suggest Singaporeans had communist ties just because the population had an ethnic Chinese majority. Ethnic Chinese residents make up about three-quarters of Singapore's population, while Malays and Indians make up about 13 and 9 percent, respectively, according to official statistics. Singh said the U.S. anti-China policies had also riled up most Singaporeans, as many interpreted them as racist. Leong said the perception towards the U.S. was not completely negative among citizens of the city-state, but that some certainly found U.S. foreign policy and interventionism disagreeable.